subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification for latest and informative videos before anyone a uh, valuation is a method for estimating the current value or uh, price of the property uh, properties such as a uh, factory plot flat and apartment house or any other type of building uh, generally it depends on the type of the building its uh, structure and durability on the situation size shape frontage uh, maybe a width of roadways etc also it on uh, the quality of materials used in the construction and the present day prices of materials uh, if you think of that the valuation also depend on the height of the building height of the plinth it has also it uh, depends on thickness of the wall and the nature of uh, floor roof doors windows and many more friends in this video i am going to cover many important things related to valuation of a building my name is chirag and to get better information about uh, the valuation stay with this video till the end let's learn something The valuation of a building is determined based on working out its cost of construction at uh, present day rate and allowing a suitable depreciation. There are many factors involved in estimating the current price or valuation of a building like location of the building, income or rent it may fetch, maintenance of the building and many more. The value of a uh, building that depends upon the supply on demand and the purpose which valuation is actually required. The property must be valued by considering different factors uh, like uh, market, location, condition, age and the neighborhood. Now let's understand uh, the difference between cost and the value of the building. There is a significant difference between amongst two. Cost of building refers to the original cost of the construction or purchase, whereas value refers to the current sellable value of the structure. The price of the cost is fixed, that won't be changed, but the value may change as per the market. It may go higher or lower than the original cost. The sell price of the building is called value of the building. Now let's uh, know about different purposes of uh, house valuation or valuation of a building. The main purpose of uh, valuation of a building is uh, generally to know the selling price of any type of the structure or a building. Also there are other purposes like uh, buying or selling let's say. When uh, someone buys a property or sells a property, the property valuation is required at that time to know the actual uh, price of that building. Next is the fixation of rent. In order to determine the rent of a property, valuation is required. There are uh, many factors involved in determining the rent value. Usually, uh, we are taking that 6 to 10 percent of the amount of valuation uh, is fixed as a rent value of any type of the structure or building. Next, uh, if we take that is the taxation purpose. Uh, generally, to determine the tax of the property, its uh, valuation is required. There are many taxes that are connected with the valuation of a particular building like the municipal tax, property tax, wealth tax, many more. Uh, next one if you see that, that is the compulsory acquisition. Whenever the land or a building is acquired by government or a law, compensation is paid to the owner. And that compensation is uh, determined by the value of the building. As an example, if we see that uh, the land acquisition during the construction of a dam, then the government has to pay some amount of the property as per the valuation to the owner. Uh, other than that, a mortgage or a security of loans. When loans are taken against the security of a property, valuation is required.
and this type of valuation is determined by bank officials insurance is also one of the category where valuation is required so to in order to find out the basic insurance amount the valuation of the property is required to calculate the valuation of a building there are few methods available uh, let's talk about uh, few methods of calculating the valuation first method is the rental method of valuation in this method the net income by way of uh, rent is found out by deducting all outgoings from the gross rent a uh, suitable rate of interest as prevailing in the market is uh, assumed and years purchase is calculated this net income multiplied by years purchase gives the capitalized value or valuation of the property this method is uh, applicable only when the rent is known or probable rent is determined by inquiries another method is direct comparison with the capital value this method may be adopted when the rental value is not available from the property concerned but there are uh, evidences available of sale of price of properties as a whole in such cases the capitalized value of the property is fixed by direct comparison with the capitalized value of similar property in the nearby locality uh, another method uh, if we talk that is the valuation based on the profit this method of valuation is uh, suitable for buildings like uh, any hotels cinemas theaters etc for which uh, the capitalized value depends on the profit of that particular structure in such cases the net income is worked out after deducting gross income all possible working expenses outgoings interest on the capital invested everything is to be deducted the net profit is multiplied by years purchase to get the capitalized value in such cases the valuation may be worked out to be high in comparison with the cost of construction uh, next if we take that is the valuation based on the cost in this method particularly the actual cost incurred in construction the of the building or in uh, possessing the property is to be taken as a base uh, to determine the value of a property uh, in such cases necessary depreciation should be allowed and uh, points of uh, obsolences should be uh, considered at the time of the calculating the valuation of that particular building uh, another method is to development method of valuation and this method particularly the valuation is used for the properties which are in the undeveloped stage actually or partly developed and partly undeveloped stage if a large place of land is required to be divided into plots after providing for roads parks etc this method of valuation is to be uh, adopted at that time in such cases the probable selling price of the uh, divided plots different type of plots the area required for roads parks etc and other expenditures for the development should be known if a building is required uh, to be uh, renovated by making additional changes alterations or uh, different type of improvements the development method of valuation may be used at that time another one is the depreciation method of valuation according to this method of valuation the building should be divided in total four number of parts walls roofs floors doors and windows these are total four parts and uh, cost of each part should first be worked out on the present day rates by detailed measurements the present value of land and water supply electricity and uh, sanitary fittings etc should be added to the valuation of the building to arrive the total valuation of the property 
friends with this hope this video provide required information about valuation of buildings so do not forget to like and subscribe this channel for more videos like this and if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to use comment box also do share this video with your friends if you found this video very much useful goodbye and take care